Okay. <laughs> um, before I forget, um, when we're in the middle of battle and our turns are taking too long, it's very annoying. So we need a lesson. It's combat. No. Yeah, we need to. It takes too long. Get over it. <laughs> Excuse me? Get over it. It's combat. So, but, combat like, takes right forever. That's right next to the general story. There are it's five literally players like store and the DM. Okay. It's going to take. Is it open still? It's because fine like, if it takes forever, it's but you burnt. some people oh, you, the the you I won't say it's some people okay. you so you guys I need to start thinking about your turns before they come up. The That's what's happening. Death answers and I That's decided to go to the store because I'm really hungry. Okay, we've got all sorts of stuff. We got you know like lettuce or some loaves of bread or. Do you got uh, Cheetos? Loads of stuff. <laughs> Lettuce. <laughs> got Cheetos. <laughs> uh, they got some like cheese or flour or rice, or beans. How much is cheese for? A uh, pound will cost you about 10 gold. A pound. 10 gold? Yep. No, we can also you know, cut you off a wedge or. I'll take two pounds. Okay. <laughs> That's 20 gold. Yeah. I'm fucking hungry, dude. I'm high no, you because can't. of some guy, and I'm hungry. He looks that you I'm hurt, high so he's because like, of some guy. You're high? Here's the 20 gold. Uh, sorry, did I say 20? I meant 30. Here's 30. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's taking him for everything he's worth. I take the cheese, start eating it, and I walk away. Okay. You cannot eat 20 wheels of cheese in the middle of battle to heal yourself. Ah, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Wait, you one tire. <laughs> You've obviously never seen a pause menu before. <laughs> He's high enough, he has a pause menu. <laughs> uh, I just, just walk out and start moving. Wandering around just eating cheese. Okay. So. so where are you guys going if you're not going back to the house? I want to go to this field corner. Okay. Just kind of some, some open field? Yeah. Just, you know, so that way there's nobody around kind of thing. Or... Is there anybody around? Hold up. Okay. <laughs> You're angry because he's taking too long? No, I'm angry that he's being a giant asshole to me today. How is he being an asshole to you? He's being an asshole, but that's him being an asshole character. That was outside of character. What? Saying if combat takes forever? No, dealing with it. Yeah, it's it's just how combat is. I wasn't the one that but, suggested it. I was doing it because so, of him. So, I only put it in that context because you, like, you said some people are taking too long. And then I put it in that context because I was forcing you to clarify because I know you're talking about me. So, and, and, and it, if, it's and if you have a problem, I, if you have a problem with how it. long I take in combat, then just say so. so. I think the biggest thing is he's got Harris to worry about enough, too. <laughs> yeah. So that, it does mean you kind of got to think ahead a bit more. And and that's fine, and I will do so, but a lot of the time, combat is like, something happens right before my turn, then I have to make a decision on my turn. I don't have time to think ahead to a certain point. If you have, if you take issue with that, I will remark that in the future and do my best to move on from it. But combat takes for fucking ever, especially with a party bigger than three. It's fine. I just, I'm not the one that was doing it as well. I was doing it because he asked me to bring it up. Uh, because you brought it up and said, hey, a combat's taking a yeah, long time. Yeah, it is. Like, All right, bring it up then. Not the only one that's seen it too, so I'm just saying. I not do. just any, I haven't heard anything you. from anybody else about how combat, I think our combat has actually been really fluid compared to most D&D campaigns. I think where we divert a lot is when we just go off as characters. Yeah, yeah and that's that's fine. That's just how it is, and that's how it's supposed to be because we we play how our characters would play, and we act how our characters would act. And I do apologize for snapping. That was not my intention, but I did get a hostile intent from that, and 
I don't handle that kind of thing well. So I do apologize, and I will work on it in the future to make sure that combat is more fluid. Okay. Okay, now who's going where? We're going to the toy store. And you were doing what? Or where are you guys going if not the house? The we're going to the Might find you with your wheels of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> we find them by the general the store. Because we need to have a conversation. Okay. So you kind of, what is N2? Yeah, just north of N2. Looks like there's some like trees and stuff. Okay, so that's a little bit north of the end. So there's a bunch of, of ravens kind of circling around. Just, okay. Most of them are kind of not coming over you, but there's a lot over to the building to yourself. Okay. I'm doing a really hard perception check. Okay. Really uh, hard perception Really hard. What, what are you looking for? Really, huh? really hard. Anybody that may or may not be listening. Okay. No, I... No. Can I read on with you? <laughs> yes. That was an eight. Did you She's so freaked out at this eight. point. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, this... Like this high class woman that's so used to her life of like not doing fucking shit is just sub- suddenly thrown in this world where it's like tigers and vampires and wolves and tigers. She's just like, what the fuck is happening? You, you have to like think from an NPC standpoint. Like they go through their daily lives as a farmer and then suddenly there's just this group of fuckheads that come through and destroy their way of life for, like, a few pieces of gold in a quest. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, you, don't, you don't notice anyone walking around, <clears throat> listening in. Okay. Who all's with you? Just me and Ari. Okay, so just you three? Did you end up following them, or did you two end up following them, or are you going to the store? I am, store? we were going to the toy store. Toy store. Oh. Yeah. So remember that's that letter I showed you? It's what Stone the uh, pumpkin wants. Toy Store. That was the probably letter you just pulled up, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That was from Telonius or whatever that person is you're looking for. It was from that group. Okay. The same group I'm that Strahd's a part of. Okay, so... The two are connected. Either way, we're getting both of them. <laughs> no! Ah, the world! How about we just take it off? Yeah. It's not working. Well, 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 let's take two uh, cans of top and just put them on both sides and brace it. Very I've nice tried bracing it with things over here. <laughs> it's not working. Oh. Okay, so what's the plan? Why we talk here instead of uh, in the house? We don't know who's listening, and we don't want to know. We don't want people knowing what we know, given the nature of this Thelonious person. Do we know the the name of the guy with the bird? I get that. <laughs> Isaac. Isaac. I get a weird vibe Maggie. from Isaac. What the? Very weird vibe. Mac and cheese snakes. Like after Mac the and whole Cheetos. Tiger Have you ever had that? No, I just saw it. Really? Yeah. It it tastes like death, but it's pretty good. <laughs> Mac and Cheetos. Yeah. <laughs> sounds real good. It sounds gross. And Irina is obviously not safe here. Or no way near safe. Like a cheese she thought she may or may not. So it looks like she's gonna be traveling with us more. Yep. I mean, I watched how you guys destroyed the the vampires who attacked. I'm, I feel more safe with you guys than I ever have back home or any time before. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Too bad pumpkin can't hear that. <laughs> Strahd's gonna give up on Irina. There hasn't Unless been any. We make him. There's really not have hasn't been any attack since we've been in the town, though. We haven't even been here a full day. 
Yeah, we're just probably gonna the stay the whole. I guess. Yeah. We're not gonna get there. Right? Yeah. They only attacked at night, though, so. We stayed a full night, so we should probably keep moving before they do find us. <laughs> Then we go back to uh, Strahd's castle, and I'm just kind of putting it into this. But not with well, Irina, but, though. Well, we can't leave her hair. Well, we need to find a way. <laughs> I feel like Link and Gerald going to Gavin's castle. Yeah, this is like Link to Scotland Master Sword, and like, well, let's go kill Ganon. Like, we've got the cook here. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Time to do it. Time to do it. Yeah, I really, I really was going to speak up. Just like, I don't think I'm going anywhere near that place is a good idea. Not yet. DM taking control of NPC? Let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not quite yet. We'll discuss it with one of the same people we have right now. Um, <laughs> uh, talk people. about jumping the fucking gun. The only one that's not high right now. Completely <laughs> high. He's Completely high. <laughs> now, is that a dagger or a dick? <laughs> we'll never know. It's not your dick, but is it a dagger or a dick? <laughs> your character doesn't have a penis. Isn't she a female? I mean, what? Yeah, did you say she's a female? Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't have a dick. <laughs> you keep looking at me like female's supposed to have a dick. I I'm just don't know like anatomy. What the fuck? <laughs> so concerned. I'm just a horror like I gotta figure out. Well, where did I get the dick from? <laughs> where did I get the dick from? We'll figure out a plan, but I do Oops. wanna talk to his son before we leave. Alright. Let's go do that. Just when she said talk to the most sane person, I'm like remembering when I was just okay. stabbing, stabbing that guy. Right. Back to the burner matches then. Okay. So you guys have managed to find the toy store. Toy store. It's, it's got a nice big glass window with Blinksy's toys written on it. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the one hanging signs it says "Is no fun, is no Blinksy." <laughs> All right. <Whoa. laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, listen, I can craft a pearl. Well. <laughs> You have, to be, uh, you have to be clear here. Pumpkin is mm. excited to visit the toy store. <laughs> so, toy store. Yeah. <laughs> so toy inside the window, you can see you can see lots of toys, like lots of dolls or some rocking Math. horses and all sorts of like Math. typical toy store stuff. But each of them kind of has a, a bit of a darker turn. It's so, like. <laughs> Uh, the dolls will have like stitched over eyes and X or uh, the the nice. rocking horse. A couple of them are painted black with like fire is the main fire is the tail. This sounds uh, badass. Yeah, this is super cool. <laughs> Yo, so that's what you can see from the window. <laughs> oh. Let's go in. Are you with us? No, yet. Okay, I might stumble upon you. I might stumble. I say, like, the general store is right in front of the toy store, right? Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I, I thought quite. it was. I, no. Not quite. Oh. How far away is it? It's like, it's like, come on. Uh, it's like five, five buildings over. A yeah. few blocks. Oh, yeah. Five. I, I guess I might have oh, seen them enter. Yeah, that's the general yeah. store. In seven. Because I'm just wondering around right outside. Is over here. So you, you oh, so it's, it's pretty it's it's far away. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. It's, it's a good distance. Okay. Well... I'll, I'll, I'll point and gesture at the at the flaming main horse. I'm like, ah, yeah, go ah. play with the dog. <laughs> uh, cat, cat. I am going to use detect magic, or my inherent detect magic, to see if there are any magical items in here. Okay. And I'm going to go, just look at all the toys. I'm going to go. Have you guys entered the building now? Yes. I've entered. yes. Okay. As soon as you guys like open the door. You scare off kind of, uh, it looked like a monkey or something, you didn't quite get a good look at it. But uh, it was resting on the door. Flying monkey. And uh, 
it just jumps off and kind of runs into the back room as soon as you open the door. So yeah, he warned me to look out for flying monkeys. I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> because the, you were doing the dragon thing, yeah. and I was like, and flying monkeys. <laughs> uh, well, that's interesting, the, the whole monkey thing. Uh, non-flying, regardless. Um, I'll go find this Blinksy guy, okay. or girl. You don't detect any magic in this whole store. Not at all. Not even a drop. Just some strange looking toys. There's, you've noticed a few more. There's one that kind of looks like a gallows set, like a the hangman's thing with a weighted body and it's got an action lever. Is there a bell at the desk? Huh? At the, like, the desk. Is anybody up at the register? Not yet. However, you hear some <laughs> shuffling in the back. <laughs> Is there just, like, a fine layer of dust on all of this shit? No, it's, it's well up kept, oh, right, but right, it's right. just not busy. Okay. Now, out of the back, with Monkey on his shoulder, comes this big man. He's not tall, he's fairly average size, because he's a bit bigger and round. <laughs> Very jovial is a good word. <laughs> jovial? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, what color are his clothes? Red and black. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're they're brighter, mm-hmm. but he's got like one of those big turban hats. Not like a turban, but he's got a big layered head. hat. Yeah. <laughs> he, towel. he walks out with arms outstretched. He's like, "Hello, friend, to house of Blinksy, where happiness and joy can be bought for bargain prices." Perhaps you know a little child in need of joy? A little toy for girl or boy? This place is amazing! (laughs) (laughs) Um, Blinksy, it's wonderful to make your acquaintance. Do you have anything else more adult? (laughs) Adult? Yeah, any toys? It's toy store, friend. (laughs) And toys cannot be made for adults? Uh, we have toys. For adults? I, you can play with toys. Do you no. have any toys that are sharp? No. Gosh, what kind of child would play with sharp toy? <laughs> it's dangerous. I mean, Pumpkin is nodding with everything that Blake's he's saying. Just like a sincere, like... This guy knows what he's talking about. (laughs) Now come, friends. Let's see if we can make you happy. I'd be wonderfully surprised if you could. I fold my arms and finally. He's he leads you around the store and he shows you all of his uh, toys and one's like a doll where the head is removable. His bottom and top of the thing are both like very gruesomely, but once they're on, it's totally normal. And it's got a, a sack of other heads that you can exchange it with. Sack of heads. Such so variety. Uh, a group of nesting dolls, and each one gets progressively older and older, so it looks like wrinkled and more wrinkled, until the last <laughs> one is just, like, a skeleton. Uh, he's got one of these, like, little metal merry-go-round boxes, except instead of, like, horses and stuff, it's children and wolves, so it looks like they're constantly... <laughs> is it musical? <laughs> It is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> pumpkin's okay. like, I'm putting so, some money. <laughs> yeah, pumpkin's eye on that one, like, mmm. <laughs> and happy music, right? Typical happy music? It's or like, is it? Do, 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 do. <laughs> um, okay. Um, yeah, so I might, so pumpkin's eye on that. Um, is there anything else? Uh, then all three of you go ahead and make a perception roll. Woohoo! Three. Uh, did not all three of you go in? Yeah, I, me, or uh, I, I my ha- horse, and pumpkin. Oh, just you two? It, it, I'd be happy if you want to story wise have mm-hmm. them meet us. I was going to say, I don't two. know where you were going with the cheese wheels. 20 I was just walking. Okay, I'll say you found them. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's why I was asking story. how far it was because I could have just been like, oh, uh, hey! 21. Okay. 21? Okay. So I'm in there oh, with them. Uh, I'm actually going to give the red a try. Hey! <laughs> With, uh, are we adding modifiers to Perception. Okay. Um, 
You're very perceptive for how high you are. Yeah, 20 total. 21. What'd you get? Uh, your wisdom, buddy. So, both of you two notice one more doll kind of kept behind the counter. It's probably like this big. There's nice porcelain. No magic. No magic. Okay. But it it looks very familiar and almost like you've seen it somewhere before. Hmm. Would it Can describe I... it? Hmm? Describe it. Uh, it's very lifelike. Uh, it's common clothes. You just think you've seen the face somewhere before, which makes you... Feel like you know pumpkin have we seen that face before i've seen a lot of things and that doll maybe <laughs> can i roll like knowledge yeah to... sure. we, yeah me too um, what are we what are we rolling for uh go ahead and do a wisdom check uh 20 oh just wisdom yep just with regular wisdom modifier yep Twenty-three. What is six plus three? Yeah, twenty-three. Sixteen total. Okay. So it it almost clicks instantly in both of your guys' mind. That's Irina. That is a doll of Irina. Uh, <laughs> I Blinky. know it. Wait, wait, pumpkin, pumpkin. <laughs> My friend, Blinksy. <laughs> His name? Oh, perfect. Where did you get the doll? I made the doll, of course. You did. Of course, special customer come in and give me all the specifications, and I make beautiful doll, no? It, it's gorgeous. I, In fact, I'm in love with it. Did somebody <laughs> gave you special specifications? Uh, yes. Who was it? Oh, uh, man has face. Very memorable. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> I, we've, we've met. Very, very memorable. That's a good way to put it. Why? Did he, did he give a reason? He's just like... Uh, he comes in every month or so to get a new doll. It's to get a new doll. Yes, gives me specifications and minor modifications every time. It's, I uh, think this holes one is with special lubricant. Like, what's his deal? <laughs> what kind of toy store do you think? No, I'm no, running? no. <laughs> just, just, just checking. Just toy. Uh, okay. Yes. Um, is there anyone you can buy it off of you? I could not do that to a customer. No? He's so loyal. Give me money. Make him but would you like another royal customer? I mean, how many dolls has he had at this point? You can very, very well get away with giving us, or selling us more to say, this one. And just saying that the one for him is a little delayed. I have never seen you guys before. Yes. You guys, I am happy to do business with you. However, he has come in every month for four years. I could not do that to Simon. No, him. of course not. Well, I can give you some cheese. Um, no. He's got lots of cheese. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Well, strange to know, Pumpkin uh, is raising questions in his high mind. Like, exactly how long ago did he ask for these? For, for this doll? Did he commission this doll? How long ago exactly? Uh, he came in maybe two weeks ago. Just give me... Uh, I little fix in those for this doll. <laughs> How about I'll, I'll turn to to uh, Raleigh here and be like, that was a long time ago. Like, before us long ago. Before he's ever seen a arena. Yeah. <laughs> I think we need to oh, investigate. I, mine is being blown right now. <laughs> I, I, I'm doing this in whisper, so Blinksy can hear. I think we need to investigate this Isaac fellow. Or Isaac's fellow, whatever his name is. Yes, the Dragonborn is very interesting. Dragonborn? Is he a Dragonborn? No, no, no. But he oh. <laughs> Pumpkin thought he was a dragon. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> sure, Pumpkin, sure. But hmm. that, that music box? I, that, that music box. You, you can get the music box. Oh, I know. Yes. <laughs> or, it's like, I got it. Do you, have a, do you have a toy blow gun? <laughs> toy friend. Come on. What toy store would carry things dangerous for a child? What toy store would carry a doll with interchangeable gory ass heads? He's not gory. I like I demonstrate like the, the viscera coming out of each of them. 
and like it's replaceable. It's just like painted like a spinal cord in, yeah. in the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> is real. Is lifelike. Is fun. Is blinksy. Blinksy, my friend. I mean, you got it. I'll take the. How many box. kids do you see in here, bursting at your doors, wanting to buy your toys? Uh, times are hard, but I get the oh, business. Oh yes, okay. Criticizing a toy maker. <laughs> what am I doing here? How much you wanted the music box? One of my finer pieces. Nine gold, and it's yours. Nine gold. How many gold are you down after the cheese? I'm mm, 30? I'm good nine. Okay. <laughs> well... You got yourself another customer. Oh. Wait, oh, how much oh, was oh, it? 30? I'll work over nine. Mm -hmm. No, nine. Alright. My reserves are low. How, how open to commissions are you? Uh, if you can give me specification... I can go. Okay. How about a ring? A ring? A ring, yes. It's a wooden ring, so it's still within your element, but I want it to be a little joyous. Can you do that for me? A joyous ring, how? It's just colorful. Um, you, you, can, you can add a little blinksy flair to it. You want wood ring? No, no, no. Like, and I, uh, I take off one of my like many druidic focuses I have on all my fingers. They're like this size. You just want carved or detailed? The, yeah, detailed. Uh, you, can, you, you can even make a few of them. Uh, three or four, even. And you customize it to your heart. It's yes, no problem. It's easy. Excellent. Excellent. Um, how long? Uh, it takes me three days. Ooh, and I do also have another specification. Each ring has to be made of a different kind of wood. Oh, it's no problem. Perfect, perfect. Do whatever you like to the rings, to your heart's content. Make them as blinksy as possible. Oh, okay. As many rings okay. as you need. <laughs> up to ten, I'll buy. Okay, it will cost gold each. Uh, perfect. Okay, sounds good. They will be ready in three days. Excellent. I look to, uh, to uh, Nemo like, Nemo, what are you going to get? I got cheese. Do you want some cheese? And he just like I takes one of the trunks. Cheese. Do you want cheese? <laughs> yeah, I'll take whatever you give me. Here's half. Oh. Huh? Where are we going? I think we Party should masters. go to and investigate this Isaac's fellow. That's the weird face looking guy, right? Yes. Talk Let's to a guy. Where did the others go? Um, I, I don't actually know. I left them. Uh, there was a very angry, very scary looking woman who oh, was. No. What'd you do this time? I did. Why, why do you assume it was me? Well, I mean... I just thought that maybe she was into some things that she clearly wasn't, and it was my bad, of course, and I made with a hasty escape, but I don't know if the other two actually got out of there. And if they didn't, you know, not my problem. Were there three? There were three of us in there. Because Irina. Oh, yes. The, <laughs> and Irina, of course. The person we're supposed oh. to be keeping safe. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but Trump. <laughs> Let's go investi investigate Isaac. So let's go find him, and then we maybe we, we can look into safe. the other ones. We didn't say we would keep her safe in mind. <laughs> <laughs> Evil. <laughs> All right. Kay. I saw what he was over by the the wherever the fire was. Oh, let's go find him. All right. Yeah, you guys have made it back to the Burmasters. Wait, no. You wanted to speak to Victor? Let's go find his yeah, place. Yeah, he said after dinner, though. His house. Mm -hmm. Or his residence. Tonight. He can let you up. There's so many things I want to do, but yeah, let's stoned. Yeah. Let's stoned uh, <laughs> pumpkin. Can't, Can't do, do it. those. <laughs> Does Irina want to go? Because like, I thought of like five days huh? to investigate. Yeah. <laughs> Irina's going to go pack. Yeah, go pack. We're, we, we need to discover where he lives. Okay. I'm going to go with her. You can go up there. While she's packing, we're gonna do that. Play some calming music. Not to interrupt, but do we know where Isaac lives? He does. Two of us are. He does. Yep. Because he asked, "Where can I find you? Should I need you?" He's like, "I've got a room at the the Burmaster's house." But you know, he's also. We need to go find where he lives. Detective Stone Pumpkin. Detective Pikachu. Detective Pumpkin. 
suddenly Hell he yeah. has a detective's hat and cowl on. Pumpkin, where did you get those? <laughs> suddenly a wooden know. pipe appears. Don't worry about it. It's elementary, my dear Ragnar. <laughs> so the Burgermaster's like, are you sure you won't talk to Victor? He's not he's not always the most receptive of guests. Yeah. Okay. Make us very happy. Okay. He he leads you back upstairs and uh into the room that you were spending. It would really night. make you happy. And up above there was a like a lever for a trap door that lowers a ladder. And it leads up into a, a dark room. And suddenly you're dead. Like, alright, he's, he's up there. Room in the back. Uh, if you'd like, you can go up. No, I'll stay down here, though. Did you guys paint these? No. Uh, go up. You go to? No. Nope. Stay with Arena. Okay. I'll play some music. Are you feeling the booze on our It's better not to. He has been this entire time. He has been. It's also better not to leave her alone now. Yeah, that's really the. I mean, we don't know that. Let's not to leave her alone. No, we know that. We don't. Oh. It's not safe in the house now. About the doll. Ah. Yeah. I thought just in general. We know it's not safe. We know there's a connection between Strahd and this bitch. Colonius or whatever. Colonna? Character's gonna say Thelonious. Thelonious. Okay. Thomas. <laughs> Thelonious. That's what I keep hearing. Thalus. Just. Okay, um. No, you, you know what Thelonious is, right? Thelonious. Thel- the messenger of. Uh, Bolonius. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what's up there? Uh, so this is just like a little small 30 by 40 room. Completely empty except for a table and an oil lantern on it. Polonius was the messenger of Hieronius, by the way. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're in this room and it's just kind of a wooded off room, okay. like an unfinished house, right? How it's kind of got like some paneling up, but it it's is just an attic. Okay. You're looking good. Uh, there's kind Thanks. of an opening into like the major major part of the to go the back. attic, so but the entire longer, attic is super dark. Super sides. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, if I was a mildly attractive young woman with large breasts, a skinny waist, and a large ass, I'd be attracted to you. Okay. No response. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. So you've now got the oil lamp? No, the other ones are Walking out into it? So as as you walk out into this room, uh, it's just mostly storage. It's tarp-covered old chairs or... Some old paintings oh, up against the wall. Been about Everything's right super dusty too, except a single path that kind of cuts through the entire attic. Going on. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's easily distinguishable footpath. Okay. Um, keep following the path, I guess. Okay, it leads up to a solid, like, mm-hmm. wooden panel. You don't see any kind of door or anything. There's just a skull kind of carved into the wall. So that's, skull. that's where the footpath leads. Okay. Skull. Um, that's cool. Take the skull. Now, like, it's carved into a wall. So, like, uh, one of those, like, slide doors. Just take a slab with it. <coughs> <coughs> what are you gonna do? It's a trap! I do check the trap. <laughs> okay. Suddenly, a mildly attractive young woman with large breasts, skinny Perception. waist, and large ass comes out. Wow. It's time to attack! <laughs> <laughs> she spots Hayden. Uh, so, 13. Okay. Uh, you don't see any traps. <laughs> I tap on the door first before going in. There's no door. Or I tap tell. on the wall. <laughs> she's just, okay. poke, she's poke, just like, poke. like yeah. on the skull in front of you, or? Uh, just by the skull, I know. Okay. This sounds hollow. Tonk, tonk, tonk. But there's no response. Okay, I try and push it. I'm a mildly attractive young elf woman. It okay. <laughs> <laughs> feels like you're pressing against solid wood. Okay, it's on the skull. Uh, that's a good uh, throwback. There's a couple of glyphs, like, it's just scribbles mostly. <laughs> Back again, no <laughs> Okay. As soon as you touch it, you can hear ding 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 on the inside. I'm coming. So, some shuffling around. <laughs> 
an entire portion of the, the wall just turns into a door, like instantly, and swings open. Okay. Oh, like you, Star Wars? Oh, like, Star Trek. Like, like Star Trek style? Like, no, like, there was just a solid wood door. She, like, knocked on the skull, and then out of the wood, a door formed into, oh. like, and then opened. Okay, I, I, I was thinking Star, Star Trek. Whoosh. Give me a second, okay, I'm putting cool. my hands okay. back. <laughs> so you must be the one that my father said wanted to meet me. Yeah. Sorry, I've been very busy working on something up here. That's fine. Uh, what's you working on? You can see back behind him, there's a, what you think are skeletons of cats. Oh, fuck. It's, uh, is this going to be some weird love story? You can't come. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm trying to figure out some of these glyphs for a teleportation circle. I'm trying to get out of this damned place. I mean, you could probably join us. Um, if you want to leave. <laughs> Have you tried? Is he just a human? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just leaving. <laughs> I've tried walking out of here. What the fuck is he locked up for? Hmm? He's not locked up. He just spends time up here. He's referring to the mist. You tried yeah. leaving? What happened? <laughs> the oh. mist just turns you around and you get lost and end up right back here. We've nav navigated through it. We can make it. Oh yeah, there's, I mean, there's towns in this place. You can go to Barovia or Kresk or... Where are you trying to go? Anywhere. Just not here. So bad about being here. Your dad's so happy. <laughs> Roll deception. <laughs> Sorry. That's just not a good place to live. Because of the no magic thing? Uh, not the no magic thing. Just, no magic. That's really just my father. He doesn't think I should waste my time with this, but... What is this? Uh, magic. I taught myself. You see my door trick? Pretty proud of that one. <laughs> what what do you study? Uh, he pulls out this like huge old book. It's like a this is going to be a love story. Foundations of Magic <laughs> book. Like she I, sees the book and is instantly attracted to it. I just study this and it <laughs> teaches me, you know, what symbols mean and what ingredients could do what to a spell. Do I notice any writing on it? I would, yeah, it's just all of that. Do I notice any writing on it? Oh, like, like, oh this glyph any, means it, fire. This. Like, there's. It's not like a druid thing or a cleric or a wizard book. It's, of magic. Yeah. It's, magic. it's yeah. wizard. Just Basically general magic. foundations of magic. Magic 101. Yep. <laughs> so you want to learn magic? For dummies. <laughs> yeah, magic for dummies. <laughs> yeah. Can I look at it? Like inside? There is that book. That book exists. <laughs> Have you used all the spells in here? I, there's not really spells in there. It just kind of teaches me how it works. <laughs> okay. The real title is Economics for Dummies. Maybe I can help you with your teleportation thing. Uh, you're welcome to take a look at it. Totally I've. Not been able to get it to work yet. Yeah, let me take a look at it. Okay, uh, when you enter the room, one of the like skeleton cats, cats that you saw, like skeletons mm. of cats, <laughs> like hops down off of the counter and oh, scurries back oh, behind the, the desk. Did, did you make that yourself? I, I did, I made all of these, and you can look around the room, there's like seven Just more of them me. around the room. Like it's a crazy cat guy. What? <laughs> crazy what cat necromancer. Cat. <laughs> Pretend like there's the dogs a list are a lot there. harder to get a hold of in this town, and they're Pretend much too big for me. <laughs> so I stick with cats. Do you know the way? Do you? What do you do to them? Uh, I don't, I don't do want anything to them. I, I dig them up out of their, you know, graves where people oh. buried them. Uh, and then just bring it back Somebody here and touch my spooker. say a couple words and bring it back. What can you do this? Are you studying what I'm studying? But he's actually Great mastered history. what I've been trying to do. So. Is that he doesn't really know what he's doing, though. He's not casting spells. He's just using some of these foundations of magic to do rudimentary. Yeah, but he. You know, kind of doing the same thing I'm learning. So. Um, 
he, he leads you over. It's this isn't a huge room. It's like forty by fifty, so it's a like good sized room. But what you can. Uh, he has this giant rug in the corner of the room. He just lifts it up, and there's giant etchings and a big old ring of stuff. He's like, I just can't get this thing to go anywhere. Okay. Uh, the etching is just like a very intricate like spell circle dick. It? Yeah, you can go ahead and do an arcana check. <laughs> the, it's like like the, the, the so full yeah. metal alchemist. Alchemist. Eighteen plus whatever, but uh, plus four. So from what you know of magic, right? You know a few of the a bit of what the book would teach him. Um, Are you drawing? You can tell that some of the, the glyphs that he's drawn on his teleportation circle, <laughs> they're wrong oh, dude, and potentially like catastrophic. Oh my god. Okay, like, can I like fix them? Uh, you don't know how to fix them, but you know like some of the glyphs that would mean travel are actually like explosion <laughs> now. Okay, well, um, some of you these too, markings you are approved. completely Thumbnail right there. bad. Uh, you gotta, you gotta bad like, how? <laughs> that one means explosion. You got the tips to touch. Well, you, you can see him kind of like stuff coming out of them. Oh bring his foot that, back like and push the bag underneath the desk. What's what that? <laughs> that was an experiment. Forgot the that hair. may not have worked. Is there any more detail than it should have been? You've met me. I think it's probably time to head out. Dart, probably. You wanted to see if I can help you with Did you this? get darted? I uh, took an arrow. I did an experiment. It didn't work. Uh, There's no judgment. I've done some so things. <laughs> I've done some things. <laughs> but I don't know you. But my dad does, and my dad doesn't know this. And oh, that's funny. I really don't like your dad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> kiss, kiss, kiss. Touch, touch, touch. It's kind of weird. Does he treat your mom bad? I mean, is he bad? No. Is a live action reenactment of this story? It would she be seems kind of. Playing these characters. She seems kind of. Love story. Love story. Scared? Guys. <laughs> she doesn't want to accidentally end up like one of the people in the stocks. What do you mean? She's not happy, but she can never show him that he's not happy. Why doesn't she leave? I've been explaining it. You can't leave. This would make a nice so holy symbol. Saying, huh? This would make a nice holy like symbol. Yeah, I mean, you might be able to make it. Oh, there's nothing in another town for her. So are you trying to get to another world? Yeah. 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 Or out of whatever kind of hell we're living in now. Your erection plot twist. We all died in the beginning. Wait, what? Yeah, we all died in the beginning. This is all just your fantasy fever dream about people mocking and it being your fetish. Okay. <laughs> Down. Maybe I can help you figure out the right way to do that because we have a friend of ours that needs like the, to leave this um, place too. Dragon Ball Unless you know how to do a teleportation <laughs> circle, then... I, we can try and find out. And she I've... slips her hand on his... I've been studying this for three Dude, years seven. now. Dude, <laughs> this has been my project. Even since before the cats. Not been able to do it yet. That's a great BC. I, I can help before you. If you want to get out of this town, because mm. none of our friends can stay here like much longer, on and cave, you can like go to a different town and keep working pictures. on it. From his people, and just like it's him and like cats lighting up. So just like phallics all over. The only thing 